This year we've got 17 categories. Um, they're the same categories we've had from last year. Um, they're all different um, industries and on top of that we have most inspiring, best networker, best business and best new business. So those ones are quite general. Um, and our categories are business services. So who would fit into that category? It would be people like um, graphic designers, marketing, um, virtual assistants, um, anybody really that does a service for a business would fit into that category. Health and wellness, anything in the health and wellness sector. So for example, last year, Nikki's here, she'll be coming to speak to you in a moment. She won and she has a, you'll have to say it, Nikki, because I can't say it. My actual release. See, <laughs> clinic. <laughs> but she can tell you more about that later. Um, children and families, so that applies to anyone who works with children and families. Um, it's a shame Julianne's not here this year, but she won it two years ago. And she um, has a business that um, works in schools with children who've got um, emotional problems. So her video's on the YouTube link, you can go and watch it, it's quite, quite a good little video. Um, consumer and retail is any business that's, that, that sells to a consumer or is a retail, so it's quite general. But actually, when people say to me, well, I'm not sure where I fit in, nine times out of 10, it's that category. If you don't fit into any of the others, it's that one. Um, and that, that was won last year by um, Nicola, who has a carpentry company. Technology, um, Cheryl's here, who won our technology category, and she's sponsoring this year, so you'll hear from her shortly. Um, any business that's in technology, so that was really simple. Um, best business is, um, a lot of people say to me, oh, do you automatically enter everyone into best business? No, we don't. You have to apply for that one. The best business category, um, really, you've got to be trading for quite some time, have some proven track record there, and, you know, everything, every single I has got to be dotted and every single T crossed. Um, and we had some really good calibre businesses in that category last year. It's quite a hard category to win, but uh, I think that one is definitely for people who've been trading for quite some time. Networker is for either someone who runs a networking group or for somebody who is just a really good networker. And you can enter yourself into that if you think that you're a good networker or if you run a networking group. We have one of our finalists here somewhere, Debbie Diggle, there she is. She was one of our finalists last year in that category. She, she runs seven Athena groups, very worthy finalist. Um, new business, so if you've been trading less than two years, then um, the judges are looking for that next big great business that's coming and our new business winner is also here this year which is Cher from last year that's sherry from balanced chiropractic um, they won that category with their chiropractic clinic customer service um, we're looking for people with good customer service procedures dealing with how you deal with complaints how do you reward your customers how do you nurture your customers um, and that category again it's quite we get quite a lot of entries for that um, and you get extra word count if you go in for that category um, on your entry because we want to see all the information about how you really take care and nurture those customers. Franchisee and franchisor, so if you're a franchise, you can enter that category or if you have franchised your business and that's sponsored by Vanarama this year. Um, most inspiring, we get a lot of entries for this one as well and again, it's People get a little bit confused, I think, on this one. It's most inspiring businesswoman. So it's about how your business will inspire others. Why are you an inspiring businesswoman? I think a lot of people think it's to do with personal journey, and it's not really, unless it's relevant to the business. So it's all about what have you achieved in business and why would you inspire others? So Jacqueline O'Donnell was our winner from last year from um, O'Donovan Waste. And predominantly a very male dominated industry she'd had the business since she was well worked in the business since she was 16 and then took the business over an incredibly inspiring woman actually and really has achieved something in, in a man's world really recruitment as I said Julie's here she won that last year so that's self-explanatory <laughs> if you're a recruitment business that's your category legal services we have our winner Camilla here from last year again if you work in legal services that one explains pretty much what it does on the tin and the last one is our coach category Again, best coach, um, we're looking for people either life coaching or business coaching um, can enter that category. So hopefully that's kind of briefly explained all the categories and there is some more examples on our website as well. And you can enter up to three. So if you're putting your business into one of the industry-based categories, you may as well enter 
perhaps for most inspiring or best business or new business, wherever you think you fit as well.